Good morning. Today I'm sitting on the floor in my or sitting on the ground in my driveway just before sunrise so I can do a quick experiment to test the flammability of glow fuel. Now I've read several things on forums and such that people are afraid to use an open flame near glow fuel and that type of thing. <clears throat> I want to try to dispel the myth that some people have or the misconception that some people have about glow fuel being flammable and that it can explode and that type of thing. So what I've got here on the ground is I've got a shot glass full of Morgan's Healy fuel which is a 20% nitro content fuel. I've got two different sources of ignition, a torch and then just a standard lighter for uh, lighting a charcoal grill and a piece of paper because I've also read that alcohol or methanol burns an invisible flame or a very light blue flame so I want to see if I can catch this on fire I can prove that it's on fire with this piece of paper so let's give this a shot and see what happens here hopefully I don't blow myself up So it does look like it is on fire, as you can see, possibly you can see, I can see a flame there. Oh, it doesn't seem like it wants to catch this paper on fire, okay there you go. The glow fuel is burning right now, Let's see if I can zoom in on it. So it's burning. Now whether that makes it a combustible hazard, I'm not sure. Quite honestly, I wasn't even sure if it would burn like it is. But it is burning. So I guess there is a somewhat slight risk that it can catch fire if uh, too close to an ignition source. So one thing I need to do now is uh, zoom in a little bit more so you can see, see it burning there. And it didn't take much to actually ignite this, so quite honestly, I'm really kind of shocked by this. Okay, so my first video uh, when I ignited glow fuel using a flame put a whole bunch of egg all over my face because honestly I didn't think the glow fuel would burn like that. So um, this segment I'm actually going to just use sparker and ignite it with a, just a spark. Now I did do this earlier today before it was so light. <clears throat> Somehow I inadvertently managed to delete that video so I have to reproduce it because it is, I think it is important to see that even with just a spark being thrown on the open glow fuel in an open container it will ignite and it will burn. So let's try this again. There it is. I know it's going to be really kind of hard to see in full daylight, but that is burning. I think I can pretty easily prove that it's burning by doing this. See that leaf ignited? It is burning. Okay, so I've been proven wrong. I didn't think that glow fuel was that flammable and that it could be ignited in such a way, but it can. And that's why we do these types of tests to prove whether it can happen or not. So here I am to say I'm wrong. Open fuel in an open container can ignite and catch fire. Now is this going to change how I operate running my glow stuff? No, not at all because I'm never near an open flame. But people do have a valid concern if they're going to be soldering or doing things like that near an airplane engine 
or uh, actually a fuel tank but even then the fuel tank is sealed so I'm really not too concerned I'm not too sure what a real concern is other than maybe a plane crashing a lipo battery causing a fire and then it igniting the glow fuel I'm not sure but the fuel itself in an open container does burn and can ignite thank you for watching